F9 LDC, nine inch. And some extra arms. Whoa, Nelly, these are thick. Let's put it together. Hi guys, Sky 2 Quadi here with a frame that nobody knows about. This is the Amax F9L. This thing rips, guys. I would put it up against a Helion any day, day. <laughs> but I did, I did tune it myself. But this sucker freestyles insane and just handles like a dream. And I'm using a 28 2012 uh, VLOX motors. 60 amp HDLRC ESC, surprisingly. I expect that to blow up anytime soon. Um, 5,200 milliamp battery. But what's sick about this is that it's a nine inch with eight millimeter thick arms. And they're not only thick, guys, they're wide. And this is where it's got a lot of, a lot of quads beat. Not the Helan because I like the way that it's structured with the two braces system. But look at where it's fat. Look at where it's wide, where it needs to be. That's the breaking point on all my quads, including my Macro America will not happen with this one because it's thick and wide where it should be. You got that guys? And it is just freaking sweet looking. <laughs> Look at that, nobody knows about this thing. I got it for $56 on Amax, Amax shop. And I think it went back up to almost a hundred, but if it goes back down to 56 again, I'm gonna grab a couple of these frames. I did get a couple front arms. Um, this is gonna be a long range cruiser and freestyler guys two flights today two flights and i want you to see how this thing flew it's sick yeah uh, i don't know if i'm going to be doing too much long range with this one because i like it so much close proximity and freestyling <laughs> this thing is it's sick guys get one and i'll keep my put my pit tune on the bottom uh, and i did the, the pit tune inside of my house guys inside of my bedroom and just watch how it flies all right guys sky 2 quality here is the finished product of the amax anno 9 inch and i personally believe that this is one of the best designs and builds like i said because the arms are so freaking thick for a nine inch and just the, I don't know, just the aesthetics of it. And it's much lighter than my 10 inch quad, but yet, oh, and, and my, my uh, Macromerica, it's a hundred grams lighter than that. And I built that one to spec. So a hundred grams lighter than my Macromerica nine inch with an actual action camera on it with the DJI Action 2. And so, yeah, these guys, girls, I really dig this one. I'm going to tune it now, and as I do all of my PID tunes, I do what's called basement PID tuning. I actually do it in my bedroom, even with my 10-inch quads, all right? So I'm going to turn this on for you guys, so I want to hear, you know, the Nancys out there going to say, oh, you shouldn't do that in your house. I PID tune my quads in my house. I don't recommend that you guys do if you don't know how. Learn it and feel comfortable with it. But uh, here is the end result. I just... I think it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Ha <laughs> ha Look at that. Woo, is she beauty or what, guys? My goodness. My goodness, yes. And don't fall in love with your quads, guys. Even though I do dig this one, you just never know what's going to happen to them when you fly because I just lost my four-inch quad last week so anyway guys what do you think here it is in all of its glory a max Anno. no one's done a video on this one so i'm going to tune it oh, look at that What a beauty. She's beautiful. Okay, enough of that. We'll basement pit tune it. We'll take it out and see how she flies. All right. Okay, guys, it's a quick walkthrough. 
I've already done a bass with pit tune on it. I do not know how it's going to fly outdoors. Um, that tune is questionable because it's very hard to tune nine inch quads. Anyway, starting from the top, we do have a Speedy B F7 V2. I tried to use Beta Pet Flight 4.5, did not work. Uh, would not recognize my ESCs on bait. And uh, what do you call that? BL Heli 32. So it kept giving me error, so I had to flash it back down to 4.3, find no problems. Using the uh, HDLRC 60 amp ESC that I got from Amazon, I recommend not getting their Amazon version because they keep giving used ESCs. I don't know how they get batches upon batches of used ESCs. I tried to return mine and do a negative review on it. Amazon would not let me. So I'm gonna go ahead and I did a review, did a return on it. I'm gonna go ahead and fly it. I've tuned it, see how it does. I'm still going to return it because I do have the Darwin FPV 100 amp uh, cement coming in combo. Also, now I'll do a review on that one. Also running a Panasonic, what is this, 1000 microfarad, uh, 50 volt capacitor and I do have it wrapped with heat shrink using my favorite ELRS receiver. Uh, this is the best you can get in my opinion. I've tried everything else. It's dual diversity and takes me out six miles and back. I've ha not had any issues with it. Hands down for me and my case use for long range, everything, it has been the best and I keep it on my four inch quads all the way up to even if I did 13 inch, it's going to be this one. Uh, that's a go. Also using a Cadex Vista, what is this? It's not the Polar, it's uh, I don't know, one of the original ones, it's pretty good. Also using the Lost Buzzer because I did lose my four inch quad that you guys saw fly to Mexico over the mountains. And, oh, I'm really bummed because I lost it. Uh, don't fly with a lot of guys, that's all I can say. We, if there's interference, your drone can go down, and my drone went down, so it is what it is. And let's see what else. Uh, using the M10 GPS. And also using the HDLRC hammer antenna. I don't know if you guys can see that. Where are you, where are you? Get in there, get in there. Okay, back this out. And I reinforced it with some braided line and heat shrink. And then the 28, 12 motors. So we're gonna go ahead and take this out, see how it flies, and we might as well see if it even works, right? So you wanna go see that too, I'm sure. So we'll go ahead and slide the bad boy in. And I am using the XT90. And we are good to go. All right, so there's that. And the way that I do have my XT90 set up, I can run, run it from the battery from the top or from the bottom. And the only thing I don't like about how this bottom was set up is because it does have that little space right here so when i'm running the battery on the bottom i 3d printed some some pads that are basically the same height as this so i can and covers up these screws so that i can get a a battery underneath when i fly real long range because i want to make sure that there's no interference from the battery to the antenna so there's that all right let's do it let's go to the park knock it out okay fam we're at the park with the Amax F9. It's got the 5,200 milliamp success pack on it. Don't know how it's gonna do. Tuned it indoors. I don't know if I'm gonna get a lot of mid-throttle oscillation. I seem to have issues trying to get all of the noise out, probably because of the size of the, you know, the quad itself. It's very difficult to tune anything that's over seven inches, so. There's that, and it is a windy day out here. So, yeah, I couldn't choose any more horrible conditions <laughs> to do a test flight with such a beast. So, let's take it out and see how it does. All right, guys, Skytech Quadi, I'm waiting for satellites for the 9 inch Amex F9. So, maiden flight. I expect mid throttle oscillations. I'm gonna to try to, if I have to do any throttle punches out that way towards the mountain. Um, don't know how it's gonna be because like I said, it's very difficult tuning such a large quad. So we'll see. All right, let's try another pack. They're 5,200 milliamp. Make sure 
sure there's no one in the way. Going with 3.9, 4.3 aspect ratio this time. Make sure I'm on one. And go to the right beats. Twelve satellites. Unlocked. Props in view, of course. This thing is soaring, fellas. Even in high winds. Rip, rip, rip away, guys. The tune is excellent. The tune is excellent. Point nine. Let's bring it back. Get some voltage up. This thing rips, guys. Show me a nine-inch, even a Macromerica. <laughs> that rips like this. It's sick. I'm loving it. I know. I know. Maybe too much. batteries we get in. This thing is insane in the membrane. Oh my god, what a rush guys. What a rush. Ah, oh, let's unplug the bag, boy. Oh, that was insane. And only the second rip. <laughs> All right, guys. I think you know what to do. Get yourself this frame. It's eight millimeter thick arms, and they're wide where they should be. So there's not a lot of vibration in flight. My motors, after my tune, it's just medium warm, guys. Medium. I venture to say probably cool. This thing. Listen to that wind. Listen to that 
that wind. This is this is how it blew in that wind right now. Like nothing but it, guys. Alright, that's what I got for now. More to come. Sky Tiquati, sign out.